hello YouTube it's a lot of new stuff to buy when getting into a new hobby and hobby machining isn't an exception to that and I just received some some stuff here that I ordered last week we have here a precision square that I hope to be able to to use uh, for squaring in the, the router and my little manual mill and then we got um, a set of parallels something that I wanted to have for a very long time and I also went for a small set of uh, precision angle blocks and I thought that I will make a short video just um, telling you about where, where I bought them and what the prices were as well as showing them for you so the parallels I actually used already, so it won't be won't be a proper unboxing video of them. Sorry about that noise. It's storm here in Sweden, or almost storm. But the angle blocks I haven't touched touched yet. So let's. Uh, open them up and uh, take a look at them so first off we have the precision square i would like to buy all of these stuff used but uh, it's super hard to find used stuff here here in Sweden to a good price I wanted to have a square made out of granite but I found one on eBay for I think it was 80 bucks but um, I didn't have money to to buy it when I saw it and when I recently received some some money the item was gone and the price was I think one one fifty or one sixty dollars instead so almost twice the price on similar items and in US, if one take a look at eBay, it seems like there is a lot of parallels and squares and all kinds of machining stuff around, but here in Northern Europe, it's very hard to find. So here we have it, it's, uh, this one is Dean. 875/1 and I looked it up for a while ago to check out the precision and I can't really remember it right now but it was th something about uh, 1000 of an inch but I can't really remember the distance but I'm sure this will be much better than than nothing and it's pretty pretty thick Let's take a look at it. About uh, seven millimeters and an inch. That's about zero point two seventy five. And you can see the length and the width here, but uh, in inch that will be twelve inch and almost seven inch. So hopefully I will have a lot of use of this one and. 
Let's take a look at the parallels. These ones are one hundred and twenty millimeters long. These ones are metric, and in inch it's about uh, four and three quarter of an inch, I think. And this one is 12 millimeters high, I think. And the thickness is 8 millimeters. So these ones are, are actually too, too large for my vice. These are, are the largest ones. But uh, I think I will have use for for these ones, and they came in a nice wooden box. And the price was uh, fifty-two British pounds, and that equals to about sixty-five US dollars. So let's take a look at the. The angle blocks. So this one is, uh, you can see here, 10 degrees. This one is fifteen degrees. This one is 30 degrees. Then there are some, some small ones. This one is 5 degrees. Four degrees. They look very nice, I think. Four degrees. What's this one? This one was also four degrees, so should it be like that? I don't know. This one was five. This one is two degrees. I'm 
one degree. So there we have them. The price for the angle blocks were 51 British pound. That's almost like 65 pounds uh, or 65 US dollars as well. And let's wipe one of these off and take a look at it. So you can see some some marks here. But uh, on the other side it looks great I think. This one looks a bit better. This one got a small, small mark here. And these ones looked very good, I think. I couldn't see any any marks at all. So yeah, hopefully I will have some help of these. I designed a small little push down uh, vise or push down clamp that I plan to use for for the router and. I need to cut some details and uh, flip the piece around and mill from certain angles. So with help of these it's get a lot easier. So this was perhaps a bit of a geeky video but hopefully some of you enjoyed it and I think that this was uh, the most bang for the buck I could find ordering from Europe of course it's a bit cheaper from China but uh, not that much but if you can go for used ones I th say especially if you live in the US seems like great second-hand market there but yeah that will be it for this video and uh, I hope I'll be back pretty soon with uh, testing these ones out, squaring the mill and the router and as well as doing some milling on the manual mill with help of the parallels and the angle blocks. I would like to thank all my subscribers and um, if you are into this type of uh, stuff or things feel very welcome to become a new subscriber on my channel. I think it's super nice for me as a beginner to get some input from uh, people who actually got some experience, perhaps worked for a lot of years with uh, machining and part of uh, the reason why I started this channel is that uh, I don't know any people at all that are into machining or this kind of stuff here here in Sweden where I live and uh, yeah the people around me they don't like to hear about uh, my hobby so it's nice to be able to share it on on YouTube and get some input and uh, so from people that actually like this kind of stuff I think it's uh, best hobby I ever had. Alright, that was it. See ya. Take care.